If there is anything that you can be doing to have more luck when it comes to expanding your social circles, getting more dates, more business opportunities, it is hands down being responsible for the energy that you bring into the world. Learning how to guard your own is essential for keeping your vibration high and your mindset positive. Why? Because everything you want to manifest, everything you desire is where it's at the top of the vibrational scale. So if you cannot learn to guard your energy, to keep your vibration high, you will never attract what you want. So protecting your energy from low vibrations is step one when it comes to manifesting. Hey guys, I am Angela Jean. And if you are new to my channel, I teach step-by-step -step methods, how to remove old self-identification stories so that you can continue to choose the life that you desire, even when negative circumstances try to throw you off course. So in this video, I'm going to share with you guys my personal top six tips on how to not only strengthen, but how to protect your energetic field from low vibrations. By the end of this video, you are going to know exactly how to avoid taking on other people's energy, which is imperative to keep your magnetic field strong for what? For your manifestations, for creating the life that you desire. Let's get started with number one, which is attainable for everybody is wearing light colors, especially white because white has has a protective energetic quality because of the way that colors interact with light. And don't get me wrong, I get it. We all love black. We all have our go-to black outfits when we don't know what to wear, when we want to look slimmer, when we want to look dressier. But you guys, you have to realize that dark colors, especially black, absorb light and energy, making that color absorb more energetic influence from the environment. Psychologically, wearing light colors is often associated with peace, clarity, openness. So Wearing these colors actually subconsciously creates a boundary that creates a subtle energetic field that actually repels negative or intense energies. So who do you want approaching you when you go out at night? I would assume high vibe people versus low vibe people. And I suggest that you guys take this very seriously because you are always vibrating, you are always attracting. So when it comes to looking for love, business opportunities, social situations, whatever it is, you will attract at the frequency that you're at. So if you go out low vibe, you're going to only attract low vibe men. Who are they? the players, the guys that aren't looking for a relationship. You may cross paths with a high vibe man, but he won't stay because you're not vibrationally aligned. So you have to really take this very seriously. Be responsible for the energy that you bring into the world, not only because it's the right thing to do, but because if you want the life that you desire, you need to attract from the high vibe place where everything you want vibrates. Moving on to number two, I always say that there are more energy dumpers and more energy suckers in the world, unfortunately, rather than people that are actually adding to your energy. So let's say that you meet up with your girlfriend and she needs to vent about her drama, or you're just in a place where you're not feeling super supported even if they are your friends or business colleagues, you know the feeling. In these situations, I want you guys to avoid direct eye contact. Making eye contact actually creates a very powerful energetic exchange, which if you are sensitive, can pull you into the other person's emotional state. And you know exactly what I'm talking about. Let's say that you plan to meet your girlfriend for brunch and you got all dressed all cute and you thought you were gonna have a nice day. And then you sit there all dressed up, drinking your cocktail, drinking your coffee as she dumps her entire life on you and you leave feeling completely depleted. It's because throughout the conversation, as she's dumping, dumping, and you're looking at her, maybe waiting for her to stop, maybe waiting for her to ask anything about your life, regardless, you're making eye contact, you're dropping into her personal energetic field. In this situation, there's a handful of things you could do. Obviously, you can limit your time with her, but if you want to be there for your friend, soften your gaze, do not make direct eye contact with her. And, and those are the moments to focus on your breath, because when you're focused on your breath, you're staying connected. It's when you give your energy away way. There's a disconnect. So by taking breaths and maybe focusing on a three count while she talks, you're staying connected to yourself, which actually strengthens your electromagnetic field and protects you from her energy. And lastly, when it comes to eye contact, unfortunately, we live in a world full of frenemies. We all have them. And I love to give the example of that scene in Mean Girls where the top mean girl, she's like, you're really pretty. And then the other girl accepts the compliment. She's like, oh, thank you. And then she's like, so you think you're really pretty? And the eye contact is like that crazy eye contact. You want to avoid that at all costs, especially with your frenemies. All right, guys, and number three, I'm trying to keep my video short. While we're talking about social situations, we're going to jump into conversations. 
Obviously, you want to avoid any type of gossip, drama, talking about somebody else that is low vibe. I was taught that in my yoga teacher training long ago. If you're in a conversation with a group of girls, and we all know how fast that momentum builds when girls start to gossip, don't get sucked into that. You are told to walk away from the conversation. Excuse yourself, go to the bathroom, check your phone, do anything. Never align with gossip or drama. Let's say you're stuck in a social situation. Remember you guys, agreeing is aligning. So when you're in a social situation, gossip, drama, negativity happens, don't agree to be a people pleaser. Because when you agree, you align. And that's how beliefs are formed and seeds are planted. And you never know what seeds are going to take root and start to bloom in your mind. You have to stand guard on the doorway to your mind all the time because you have no idea how these little seeds that you pick up along the way can affect your choices, your life, your belief, and how you see the world. So this is what I want you to say to neutralize conversations when you're stuck in them. So let's set the stage. We have <laughs> your responses. Interesting point of view. I hadn't really thought about it that way. <laughs> I don't actually know enough about it to say. <laughs> you know what? I'm not sure. Let me think about that and get back to you. These responses keep you centered and allow the other person to still feel heard without drawing into their perspective. Remember you guys, agreeing is aligning. That is how beliefs are formed. At some point, you agreed that this was true. So be very careful with what you agree with. You must protect your energy. If you guys found this video helpful, I want you guys to watch this one. I show you how to remove the emotional blockages that get stuck in your meridian points. This one is also very useful. I started creating my own EFT tapping sessions because I do a lot of tapping and it's so freaking boring. So I wanted to find a way, make it a more engaging experience. So I posted my first one yesterday. It's right here. Check it out. Music is very engaging. This is a 10 minute session. I'm gonna start doing one minute sessions, so stay tuned for them because I'm also doing this one, this one, this one. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we just have to have a way to be clearing the blocks, protecting our energy because that is the key to manifestation. The journaling, the affirmations, all that stuff is great, you guys, but with all these blocks and walls, we will never call in the life that we desire. So this is the work. All right, guys, I am Angela Jean, and I will see you next week.